What's up my people? How na deal with in they happen with in this sub who welcome back to our channel. Alright guys, no much news today and by the way it's raining outside. So answer to yesterday's question, 30 eggs. <laughs> that is the answer. 30 eggs. Alright, guys. <clears throat> When I was little, they said that a Virgin Mary, you know, appeared at um, a house or a building in um, Air Force Base. It's actually in Mafuluku, you know, um, the Air Force Base I'm talking about. We heard this news and it was everywhere around Mafuluku. I think some part of Oshodi too. And everybody, people that lives around that place, you know, came to see this um, holy of virgin mary that appeared in this building i mean they said it's in somebody's kitchen i wasn't able to get to the building because i could see the light you know from afar you know because i was so so little then and i i ended up going back home without saying nothing but the people one thing i noticed that the people that claim they saw the lights and whatever couldn't really describe it. They just said, you know, we saw like a, a silhouette that is glowy or something. Like they couldn't really describe it. They didn't see a face. They didn't see, they were just like, you know, it's what is there. It seemed like it's like the Virgin Mary and stuff like that. I would believe it. A lot of people were there, a lot, just to see the Virgin Mary. Even some Muslims, you know, were there, you know, to see the Virgin Mary. Now I'm grown, thinking about that now, I just said to myself, could this be true? Well, the, the, the reason why I'm talking about it now is because of this report. Um, the same thing happened in Calabar. And before the, the Calabar story, there was another story that says Virgin Mary actually appeared to a family before that. And I, like, if you ask me now, I think this is just, we're just deluded. This is, delusional but back then i believe this thing so like i believe it guys let me know what you think it says a catholic priest shares photos of virgin mary who appeared to parishioners in calabar guys you believe this i don't believe it i'm sorry but yeah that's just it it's just that so many people believed it back then i mean people were dancing singing man air force base was crowded then let us move straight to the next one. Yeah, it's about politics. Now, you, you guys know this whole news about Peter Obi's party, Labour Party, and uh, Kwakwa Zo's party, NNPP. I mean, they had plans to, you know, merge, uh, like work together so that they can uh, win the, the next, next year's election, you know, presidential election. But it didn't work out right and it's because peter obi's team believe that peter obi has to be the the main guy while kwagwazo would be the vice president you know would take that position kwagwazo's party uh believe that kwagwazo is the right man for nigeria since you know he's um, from the northern part of nigeria of course you know these people are the majority you know the northerners so they feel like you know peter obi can play the the second role like the vice president but peter obi's people weren't having it they said no it's either that or nothing peter obi for president that or nothing so Kwakwazo uh, granted an interview recently, and this is what he's got to say. And after that, we'll read what Peter Obi's team's got to say. Even the entire zone, any zone in this country, decides to vote for a particular person. That person going by our constitution, the prohibition in the constitution cannot be president. We have seen a situation uh, today where many people in the South East believe that they are being uh, 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 marginalized. And... Um, it will even be worse, actually, if they are not involved in the 2023 uh, uh, project, uh, because LP, as it stands today, certainly it cannot win election. 
win. Uh, oh yes, it cannot win election. You can. It cannot win a presidential election. Not. 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 Why in do you think they cannot? Well, because mainly the support is mainly by, in in particular zone. There is just no spread, and the figures there cannot uh, earn anybody presidential seat in this country. Is that uh, if anybody from the south is now under this circumstance, becomes the the, the, the the presidential candidate of our party or any other party, the implication is that because of the activities and many other issues that are real on the ground, northern voters will certainly go for their northern candidate in another party. And here Peter Obi's team, they said the truth of the matter is that it is in the interest of Krakozo to take the vice presidency. Uh, Peter Obi is the main uh, man of the moment. He has the credentials and he is the most popular presidential candidate as we speak today. That's what the national chairman says. Guys, what is your take on this? Well, this particular man who is also, you know, from the northern part of Nigeria, NNPP chairman, <laughs> actually replied Peter Obi's team. Um, this man, um, Galadima, uh, he said uh, Peter Obi should be Kakwazo's running mate. That is important considering their age. Guys, let's watch this video. If you now met Peter Obi as the president at 60, by the time he finishes eight years, Pongkoso would have been 74, 75. So the, the, the young man again will say he's too old to run for president. But if you allow Senator Pongkoso to become the president and Chief Peter Obi becomes his vice president, it means at the time Senator Pongkoso will be finishing, even if it is eight years, Chief Peter Obi would have been 67, 68, therefore strong enough to run for the president of Nigeria. All right, guys, that is it. Back to religion. Now, this man is a pastor, by the way. He said he was wrong about typing. Can you imagine? I mean, most Nigerian pastors <laughs> would, wouldn't agree with this. But this man said, destroy whatever books I've sold to you about typing because it's not true. It's not biblical. Do you think typing is biblical or not please leave your thoughts in the comment section below let's watch this video i want to start off by saying to you that i'm still growing and that the teachings that i've shared in times past on the subject of tithing were not correct as saying to you throw away every book every tape in every video I ever did on the subject of tithing, unless it lines up with this. I've, I've done some corrective teaching in the, in, the, in the last 10 years, but not to the degree of what we're getting ready to do now. So why is this important? Because religion is sustained by two factors, fear and guilt. And if it's one subject that the church has used for a long time to keep people in fear and guilt it is in that subject of tithing and it has to be corrected and it's got to be corrected now I may lose some friends preachers may not ever invite me no more but I think I already been through that so it doesn't matter go with me in our text today guys this guy Pepe Nazi is, a, is an Afrobeat artist you know He's not that popular, but it's got songs, you know, that actually um, trend on the streets, you know, for a while, even on social media. Now, this guy, all of a sudden, I was actually surprised to see this, just switched to becoming a preacher. He now uses his page, you know, to preach the word of God. The beginning and the end, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, mighty man in battle, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God that never fell, the God of David. The one who gave the head of Goliath. Say, I receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The goodness of the Lord. The goodness, the goodness, the goodness of the Lord in the land. Anything is possible. You know, anybody can just 
all of a sudden give their life to Christ and switch their page from drinking and having fun partying to preaching. You know, uh, same thing as um, Chidima Ekile. You know, she is um, a born again Christian now, preaching the word of God. And of course, our songs now are more like gospel. And guys, let us read this. This is, I think this is funny. Proceedings at the wedding ceremony of Mr. and Mrs. Samson Etim Usanga were going smoothly at Unkari in any local government area of Akwaibom State until offering time when estranged girlfriend of the groom, Comfort Solomon, came out and dropped the baby boy she bought for him in the offering basin <laughs> guys this is very very funny right so this person during his wedding got a son as part of the offering <laughs> part of the offerings given to him or the church i don't know who gets the offering <laughs> moving on to the next one here we have a pastor who's got um, <laughs> something to say about your pastors. Let's watch this video. If Jesus are not open your door, you know what's done. Yes, sir. Hey, Pedro, that's your pastor when they say you can wear anything. It doesn't matter. Your pastor be a shiawo pastor. Okay. He's a criminal. Okay. Come over that church. I'll be the church and marry you. Then I hear men say, when they put for body, now make you never die. Uh. <laughs> now because Jesus never open your door. Now they read your Bible. Read the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Okay. <laughs> Jesus said, I am he that was dead. Okay. I am alive forever. More I hold the key of death and the key of hell. If Jesus does not open your door, you know what's done. Okay guys, people are talking about this video. So, this person is mourning their mother, right? You can see her crying and stuff. But, people are like, what is... <laughs> What is the meaning of this? You have makeup on, protecting your makeup, crying, all dressed, and you're mourning your mother. Guys, what do you think? Is there anything wrong with this? Or you think people are just being too serious about this? Let's read this. One of my university mates risked it all to write exam for his then girlfriend. He was caught by a lecturer he was close to. He was in his final year and so the lecturer didn't want him expelled. The lecturer punished him by deliberately failing him in two of his own courses. Girlfriend graduated. My guy couldn't pass the courses and had two extra years. He was in his school when the girlfriend left for service. He was still in that same school. When the girlfriend told him that he was getting married, he was still in the same school. She got married and had her honeymoon in Celsius. <laughs> this is really, really sad. It's just crazy. Like, you're dating a girl that can't write her own exams. She wants you to cheat to write for her how can you how can you even be with someone like that if somebody can't even write the read to write their own exams <laughs> i don't know let's read all the reactions one of the guys that wrote a paper for his girlfriend in my uni was caught and in an attempt to escape he jumped from the three-story 
high faculty building landed badly and damaged his spine. He's still wheelchair bound to today. Um, and the then girlfriend, she has long forgotten about him. Somebody says, um, the day I became real scared of women was way back when I was still in the uni. This babe came around, around after we've had, okay, she was laying on my chest, touching my beard, telling me she was proposed to three days back and she said yes. I just got up, told her to dress up and leave. <laughs> and I think about it, like that same girl just cheated on, cheated on both of them. <laughs> okay, something similar happened to a guy in a Unimade. Um, he was expelled, but I want to point out something. If you truly love someone, you don't need to prove it through crooked means. Always do the right thing. Try to be upright and learn to say no to crooked ways regardless. To the next one. Guys, I was actually shocked to uh, you know, see this. This man, can you imagine? In the bus, in the public bus, fingering a get, <laughs> fingering someone inside the bus. And he started begging. That girl really summoned courage to confront him. I mean, I'm sure this is not his first time and he's, he started begging, please, you have confidence to put your hands inside somebody. <clears throat> Can you imagine? Let's watch this video. I'm just so particular that you to be a kid that was here. The child will not talk. She will not talk now. She will be able to say anything. Please, you continue. You should have said something foolish, man. You should be destroyed. I'm sure you are destroyed. Please watch. Okay, guys, this um, is really, really sad. Early morning, oh, now so we wake up see oh, around 5 a.m. in the morning, oh, now so these people come vandalize motor when they sell oh, for Jack on Day Estate, Bungalow, Blue Street, front of uh, person house for 52B. See, as they finish Tokumbo motor when person they sell oh, two today, 3rd of July 2022. Early morning, now so they come with gun, oh, even the owner. Call myself, they're collecting phone, they collect money from me hand. Eh? Now, so two vehicles, oh, two vehicles. They we could not share this video, make it reach everywhere. These vendors, now, so then finish the motto, remove the battery for this one, remove the coils, eh? Remove the headlights, remove everything. This, this Guys, look at this. Have you experienced something like this before? Road rage. These guys, I don't know what happened. They started destroying one another's cars, like the windscreen and stuff. Like, what could have caused it? And you can see people screaming, praising them. Ah. Ah, wow.
all right guys that is where i'm going to hold it thank you so much for watching look at this picture okay yeah this picture who is their mother let me know or leave your answers in the comment section below a b c d or e until we see you next time peace